Uh, hi, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Nikola Tošić, and on behalf of my team, Ištan Pab, Krista Lazić, Milan Pašić, and me, I will be presenting this paper, uh, Quality of Service Monitoring Technique for Consumer Applications in Notion. Uh, so, uh, most applications nowadays are placed inside a mobile device or vehicle infotainment system. A significant number of these applications, uh, for example, video streaming and games, are communicating with a centralized cloud for service delivery, which is a process that depends on network bandwidth and latency. Knowing the exact quality of service in each uh, spatial PL position can help many applications to improve uh, the quality of experience of application users. So, yeah, uh, during the uh, service monitoring is one of the essential practices in every system or application. Uh, during the process, crucial data is collected, checked and processed before it is sent to the cloud center in the cloud uh, to ensure high quality and consistency. Uh, so, in the picture from the right, uh, we have the overview of the whole system. Uh, the system has two main components, uh, server and the application side, which is illustrated in the picture. Uh, however, in this paper, the emphasis will be on the consumer application. So, uh, so there are five modules inside an application which are working synchronously with each other. Uh, so uh, here, uh, the controls, uh, the server side uh, or the console cons control center uh, provides REST APA, which is used to communicate with the client application. The API, allow, the API allows accepting and handling HTTP requests to enable data exchange. When a request is received, the application's data is passed to the data aggregation module for further processing and storing into database for later use. Since the server side is not the focus of this paper, data aggregation and storage uh, will not be discussed. Uh, as for the REST API, this module is in depth for establishing communication with application and accepting connections. When a request is received, the application's data is passed to the data aggregation module for further processing and storing into database for reuse. Uh, as the application is integrated into vehicle, the spatial resolution of the application is related to the road infrastructure. So uh, as the um, roads are split into segments, each segment represents a part of the road between two junctions. So the quality of service parameters, uh, which are mainly network bandwidth, latency, and RSSI are related to the given road segments and as such are stored in the cloud. Uh, there are, so as for the consumer application, there are five modules inside the application, uh, which are working synchronously with each other. The first module is collecting data. Uh, this module is used to communicate with API uh, responsible for acquiring data from the mobile network antenna. It uh, inserts them to data collection objects uh, where specific data that needs to be sent to the servers is stored. Uh, when data is collected, it is passed to the batching module. Uh, okay, so in the batching module, to save energy and not trigger the server on every data collected, Data is being stored locally when the road segment is entered and sent to the control center when the vehicle leaves the segment. Uh, after the quality of service data is ready to be sent, it is passed to the low residency data collection module. Uh, this module is used for uh, parsing of collected data. So if multiple information is collected for the same uh, spatial point or road segment, it will be averaged so there are no multiple data for the same spatial instance. Uh, the next, uh, we go to the data compression. Because collected data is stored in JSON format, 
which takes a lot of space. Uh, data is compressed to gzip format, uh, which reduces the amount of data collected, compressing it uh, right before the report is sent to the control center. And after the compression date, uh, data is sent to the network transfer module that is responsible for establishing communication with the server. Uh, next, we have network transfer protocol uh, module. This module is responsible for establishing communication with the control center and transferring data. As the data is transferred in batches related to the road segments, a permanent connection like WebSocket is not required uh, so we were using HTTP requests uh, for occasional requests. The overhead of these requests is less than the overhead related to the permanent connection maintenance. So uh, we evaluated the, the proposed customer architecture by implementing it as part of Android application for mobile devices, which can also be implemented inside the Android car environment. For laboratory testing, uh, an application for mocking location was used to simulate the device's motion. Uh, the application is running on the device at the same time as the monitoring is done. Along with the location mocking application, network bandwidth is being mocked as well. Uh, this is done by creating a hotspot onto which the monitor device is connected. So the bandwidth uh, of the hotspot is being limited by software over time, uh, simulating the real behavior and the quality of service changes. Uh, as for the real life, oh, uh, yeah. As for the real life testing, the application was started uh, on an Android mobile phone inside a vehicle to monitor quality of service during the trip. Uh, as for real life testing, the application, uh, the application was started on an Android mobile phone inside a vehicle to monitor air yeah, quality of service during the trip. Uh, in both real life and laboratory testing, the video content was being downloaded with HTTP and reproduced inside the test application. Uh, when the application reproducing the video content is started and the quality of service monitoring technique is used, the service is monitoring quality of service parameters in the background. The collected data is sent to the control center using HTTP requests. And when the service collects data with the batching process request to the control center are significantly reduced. Yeah, still. Uh, this is because the average segment is consisted of around 10 fractions where quality of service is gathered from each static fraction. HTTP requests are reduced to approximately 10% of their original length using this method. Uh, here we can see the table which shows JSON file size and gzip file size. Uh, also, uh, we can see in the third uh, column a uh, percentage of gzip file compared to JSON file size and the number, number of segments. So the data that needs to be transferred with compressing is reduced to around 3.5% of the full JSON file size, which is shown in the table no matter the road length and how many number of segments the road has. Uh, in this picture, an example of gathered data for one part of the segment in JSON format is given, where the most important ones are bandwidth, latency, and RSSI. Uh, here we also have various other numbers of uh, data that we are monitoring. Yeah, uh, so collected data can also be presented inside the uh, here maps, uh, where each color on the map shows its corresponding quality of service, where the green color represents the best quality of service uh, for bandwidth. Uh, the map is drawn using the same segments that we were using to gather uh, quality of service parameters. Uh, 
In this paper, we demonstrated uh, one of the optimal ways of monitoring quality of service information inside video streaming applications in motion. This data can be reused in multimedia and other applications dependent on a network bandwidth and latency to improve quality of experience. Uh, results show that using this technique, big data can be monitored in real time with good energy efficiency and network data saving. Uh, in, so, uh, in future work, we will be monitoring more information uh, regarding quality of service along with the ones previously shown. This information will be more useful and uh, precise to even more applications and services. Just change sure. slides. Yeah, thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask, of course. If they are not, I have one short question. Um, I presume that you are uh, collecting um, a lot of data and uh, that data could be used, um, well, let's guess, uh, for, a, for example, for a prediction of a, of a network state. So uh, do, do you uh, think it is possible for, to, to use that data for some uh, neural network training or something like that? So you could make a prediction uh, based on uh, gathered data throughout the, the, the time. Yes, yes. Well, uh, the idea for monitoring was mostly in that way oriented. So uh, we were having video streaming application. So uh, it was important for us to know uh, the information on the road where we were moving. So we were using also machine learning for other projects, but in the same scope. So we can predict. Uh, bandwidth on the road knowing the exact bandwidth where uh, where it, where it was so uh, different strategies can be used if we know the exact bandwidth on the road because it is predicted and collected okay thank uh, you very much